Hey everyone, what's up? It's Nick here from PC Hacker 11, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a follow up video to the video which I did last time, which was how to make a basic planet inside of Adobe Photoshop. So, basically, what I told you guys is I told you how to make your own custom planets, and then that was pretty much it. And in that video, I said I would make a video on how to make this drawing right here, not really drawing, this uh, little graphic right here. So anyway, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and create a picture that looks like this with all of your planets and the stars in the background and stuff like this. So to go ahead and do this, you are going to need the uh, tutorial on how to make your own planet, which you can visit by going here on PC Hacker 11, and I'll try to post a link in the underbar as well. So anyway, you just make sure you go ahead and watch this video first, because what we're going to need is we're going to need four planets to go ahead and use this in. So I have all four of my planets. So see here, I have a blue one, I have a green one, I have a red one, and then I have the yellow one which I made last time in that video. And so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting them all into a little uh, picture that looks like this right here. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the uh, PSD file for that picture. So as you see here, here's the PSD file for that picture. And as you notice over here in the Layers tab, as you notice, I grouped everything into groups. I have a background, then I have a group for all the lens layers, which is going to be all of these stars. Then I have a group for the stars, which is just the normal stars in the background. Then I have a clouds layer, and then I have a group of planets. So anyway... In today's video, let's go ahead and make this. So, first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to File, Create a New Document, and then uh, make it whatever you want to. I'm going to make the length of it 1440 by 900 because that is a good widescreen resolution for most monitors. And uh, I'm going to make my contents to transparent. And we're going to set to RGB color, 8-bit, and we're going to make everything set to pixels. Once that's done, we're going to name it, and I'm going to name it um, Solar System 2. And I'm going to click OK. And then here we have our background. So anyway, now that we have our background, the first thing we're going to want to do is go over here to the uh, Paint Bucket tool. So we're just going to go over here and grab the Paint Bucket tool. Then we're going to make sure the contents are set to black, and we're going to click and make the background of this black. And now we're going to go over here to Layers, and we're going to rename this Background. And we're going to make sure the layer is unlocked. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to import our planets. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and select all of our planets. You should already have these made by now, which uh, if you don't know how to make a planet, feel free to go ahead and watch the How to Make a Planet video, which will be in the description. So then just take these planets and you want to import them in Photoshop. And um, I didn't open them correctly. Sorry for that. So I'm just going to open them by going to File, Open, and I'm going to open these files. So I'm going to open Green Planet, Blue Planet, uh, Orange Planet, and Red Planet. Click OK, and they should all open like this right here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag them out and individually drag them into uh, our main composition. So I'm going to drag in the Red Planet. Close out the red planet, drag in the yellow planet, close out the yellow planet, drag in the blue planet, close it out, and uh, I should have a green one around here somewhere. Which is, uh, somewhere. Let me just go and open up the green planet again. And then we have our green planet. So we have all three of our planets. So what we want to do is we want to rename them because I'm really organizing this. So. So I'll type this one in red. This one will be yellow. This one here will be blue. Uh, not good with my typing today. And this one here will be green. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select the background layer, and then we're going to go to this button here, which is Create New Group, and we're going to rename the group Planets. Once we're in there, just go ahead and select all your planets, drag them into the planets group, and then close it out. And I'm going to hide the planets group so that we can see them. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer on that. And then we're going to start with our lens flare. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and grab the paint bucket tool and fill it in black. Then we're going to go to filter, we're going to go to render, and then we're going to go to lens flare. 
position the lens flare any way you want to. Click OK, and then you should have a lens flare like that. As again, position it wherever you want to. Then we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to drag it underneath the planets. And uh, I dragged it into planets, so apologize for that. And then, once we're on our new layer, build the background in black. And we're going to do the same thing and add in another lens flare. This time we're going to position it to the other side of the screen. We're going to click OK. And then there we go. There's our other lens flare. Now to go ahead and make it clash with the other lens flare, we're going to change the blending mode of that to screen. As you see, they're both together. And uh, if you guys want to erase some stuff, you can add in some layer masks. And you can go ahead and start erasing some stuff. So, But I'm going to undo that and I'm going to just start erasing some stuff with the big eraser. So let's just erase some of that. I'll do the same thing with layer one, add in a mask, erase some stuff. And then there we go, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to go add a new layer and we're going to add in another lens flare. But this time we're going to add in a different one. So I'm going to go filter, render, lens flare, and then I'm going to set mine to movie prime, which is actually pretty cool. And I'm going to set it to the bottom, click OK, and then we should get something that looks like that. Once again, we set it to screen. But it will look like that. And if you want to add in one last final lens flare, I'm going to go ahead and do so. You can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go and I'm going to add in one last final lens flare. I'm going to make it a um, 105 millimeter prime. Click OK. And then there we go. We have it right there. And I'm going to set the blending mode of that to screen to make it look like that. And uh, just to make it fair, I'm going to size this lens flare down a bit. So that's good. Let me just add in a layer mask and start some erasing. And then there we go. That's pretty much it for our stars. So there we have the star background. So now once we're on that, I'm going to go ahead and create another group and I'm going to name it lens flare. So And then I'm going to take every single one of these lens flares we did and just uh hold on. I'm going to drag them into the lens flare group. So they're grouped and they're not crowding our layers. So that's pretty good. And so, as you notice, we can move the entire lens flare group if we just have the group selected without having to merge the layers. So now that we have that done, what we're going to do is we're going to create some stars, some little random stars. So we're going to create a new layer. And I'm going to name that layer stars. And then once there, we're going to make sure our foreground color is set to white. Then we're going to grab the brush tool. And we're going to size the brush to one of these brushes, but we're actually going to make it a sort of small size. So I'm going to go with size 11 for this. And then once that's done, we just need to find the brush's window. So once that's done, we're going to go to Window, Brush, and it should bring up this little brush's window right here. So once that's done, you want to go click on Scattering, and then just play with the settings. So I'm going to put my scattering all the way up to 1,000. I'm going to make the counts let's say two or three and count jitter will be like 22 percent and set it to uh, let's just put the control to off then once we have that done we can just go ahead and start clicking to make our stars and it will automatically just start scattering random stars around so just start putting these stars anywhere around the screen but avoid putting them too close and too on top of lens flares and I'm rushing through this because this video is going to take forever. Okay, so once you have that done, you can customize it any way you want to, but I'm just going to keep it like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and um, create a new layer. And then once that's done, I'm going to uh, name it Clouds. So let's just, uh, I keep bringing up blending options, sorry. Clouds. And once that's done, we're going to go ahead and change the foreground color to, uh, let's say, a blue. So we'll take this blue right here. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Filter, we're going to go to Render, and then we're going to go to Clouds. And then we're going to set the uh, blending mode to Overlay. And then it should look a little bit something like that. You can either change it to Overlay or Soft Light, but I actually like Overlay. And so once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and show our planets and extend our planets group. And now we can go ahead and just position the planets wherever we want to. So I'm going to position the green planet to, uh, let's say, right here. I'm going, and you can also resize these, by the way. So uh, I'm going to resize the green planet here. 
by pressing Control and T, and then uh, using my little shortcuts and stuff to move the planet around. So I'll put that one right there. The blue one, the blue one should go. Whoops. The blue one should go like right here. I like that. The yellow one should go like right here, and then the red one should go up here. Now I'm going to resize down the, whoops, yellow one. I'm going to resize down the uh, yellow one. Make it perfect. And then we'll keep the uh, red one. Keep the red one right here. And so then again, that looks pretty good. You can customize this to any way you want to. And so uh, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding in the glowing lines. So as you guys notice in this drawing, I had glowing lines around this planet. So to go ahead and add those glowing lines, what we want to do is we want to create a new layer. And I'm going to name that layer uh, rings, just because that's what they're basically going to be symbolizing. Once that's done, we go ahead and change the foreground color to white, and then we want to select the pen tool. Go ahead and uh, create an anchor point up here. Click in the middle of the circle and drag out like this. And then we're going to create another anchor point and just drag out like this. And you can make as many rings as you want to, but I'm just going to make those. Then what we want to do is we want to go back to the brushes window, uh, once we have the brush tool selected, and uncheck scattering just so that uh, everything is not scattered anymore and also make sure you're on a decent sized brush then just uh, go back to the pen tool right click and go to stroke path set it to brush and then click simulate pressure click OK and it should look like that then just press backspace to get rid of all your paths make sure you drag the rings layer above all the other planets so it looks like that and then what we're going to do is add in a layer mask on that grab the eraser tool and we're going to just start erasing until it looks like the rings are going behind the planet. And then once that's done, we can just go on the rings layer, go to blending options, and then change it to whatever we want to. So I'm going to change the glow to red, because this is a red planet. So that looks pretty good. And then there we go. We have our solar system. Now you can honestly go ahead and uh, take the time to customize it a little bit more. I sort of rushed through this. But anyway, that's how you do it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and save it. So I'll click Save, and I'll save it as Solar System 2 PSD. And I'll save it as a PNG, finally. And wait a second while it saves my PNG. Okay, that's it. Now we're done. And so anyway, we've gone ahead and we've created our solar system. So here we go. As you notice, it looks really awesome and really amazing. That is how you go ahead and create your own solar system in uh, Adobe Photoshop. You can take the time to customize it anymore, but this is just how I did it for the time being. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this has been a PC Hacker 11 production. Later.